Hey y'all, she was seven. Okay, so I had a video request to do a video on how to manifest your perfect partner. Okay, this is for men and women. You can manifest your perfect partner because I think I did. And actually, there's no such thing as a perfect partner, but it's just what you want in a person, okay? It's just what you value in a person. So what I did, the first thing I did, I made a list, y'all. I made a list and I felt strongly about how much I wanted to meet this type of person. Like, the more you feel about something, the more you're going to attract it to you. The more you think about something, the more you're going to attract it to you. And when you attract something to you, you want to make sure it's what you really want. So what you got to do, you got to get some paper or a journal or something to write on and write down exactly exactly the qualities that you want in your partner if you get too specific let me just tell you straight up if you get too specific it's gonna take you longer and probably a little bit harder to find this person so you need to take the most important things that you value the most and put them at the top of that list and put a star next to the ones that you have to have automatically have to have there's no way that you can skip out on these and um, to the things that aren't super important, don't put anything by them. That way you're mentally putting something in your subconscious mind to only deal with people who have these stars, which means who have the qualities next to the stars that you've written down. If you're approached, if you come in contact with someone who does not have these qualities, you will automatically dismiss them and make, you know, make it known that you're not interested so you can leave yourself open for when someone does come that does meet these qualities so it is important ladies for you not to even bother waste time you know conversating or even being around these type of men who are not you know having the qualities on your list if you stick with the list you will find the person okay because you will be automatically drawn to that person because you will see it you will subconsciously know it you will be looking for it it will stand out to you because now you have supplanted it in your subconscious mind that this is the type of man you want you won't even look at the other ones you won't show interest in the other ones now you have to stay to the list because if you don't if you get blinded if you get distracted you're going to end up with somebody who you don't really want okay and a lot of women are like well what if i change my mind well then that means you really don't know what you want in the first place. So before you start this, men, women, you have to know the type of woman and the type of man you want. Do you want someone who's educated? Do you want someone who's fit? Do you want someone who's um, nice? Do you want someone who is generous? Do you want someone who wants children? Do you want someone who has a nice car, you know, who has a home already, okay? Who's financially stable already. Do you want someone with a certain look? Don't get too specific in the looks. Just put a certain look, like your type. And I always put two types because that leaves more options. So I always put either this type or this type. I'll take either one. So once you put down all that, stick with it. And that's what you'll be attracting if you keep thinking about it. If you keep visualizing yourself with this type of man or this type of woman, that's what's going to start coming into your life. Okay? All the stuff that you don't want is not going to even get, get your attention anymore. So you're ruling out all the stuff you don't want. And you're focusing all the on all the things you do want. And that's what's going to start popping up to you. That's what you're going to start noticing. That's what's going to start noticing you. Because now you're on that same level of thinking and visualizing and you're on that same level of the type of person you want because subconsciously you're going to be like, well, if I want this kind of man, I got to look like this. Or if I want this kind of man, I can't be looking, I can't wear this, you know, ghetto nail color or, you know, something like that. If I want this type of woman, I can't wear the, my pants sagging down. You know, if I, you know, you're going to start correcting the things about yourself to attract that person. Okay. 
It's going to be automatic. You're going to be like, well, you know what? On my list, I have that. I want to educate a woman. So I, have to, I need to improve. I need to read, read up on a few things. I need to get my, you know, knowledge up. Because I want an educated woman, and I, I need to. I can't impress an educated woman if I myself am not an avid reader. You know, if I'm not keeping up with this, this, and that. So you're going to improve yourself automatically just by making this list, y'all. And I'm telling y'all, it works because that is how I met my husband, child. I made a list, and I did not stray from that list. I had men begging me to stray from that list, and I said, "Nope, I'm sorry." I. I, I had a strict, strict, strict list. And I, I said, and I even told them, I was like, you know what? If I date, if I date you, this is how it has to be. I can't, I, I cannot date you unless this, this, and this happens. I just can't. And I would just sit there. They would be like, <sighs> I was like, well, you know what? There's somebody out there that will do it. And that's what I'm waiting for. So. Thank you, and I appreciate your interest, but I'm, I'm just going to hold out until I get what I want. And they'll be like, well, good luck. You're never going to find it. Guess what? I found it like a week later, y'all. It could be a week away. Don't settle, okay? Never settle just because you think that you'll never find something because it's around the corner. You'll just, you know, you'll be kicking yourself later. If I would have gone out with, with, with the, the guy that was begging me to break my list, I would have never met my husband because it was a week later. And I would have been on a date with, with some dude that probably would have made me paid for half of it. I don't know. But I would never, never break your own rules because you know what's best for you subconsciously, you know. So don't give up. Stick to what you want. It's, it's coming to you. Don't doubt yourself know it's coming you know what you know what i said you know what i know that exactly what i want is going to come to me it's just a matter of when and where and i'm not going to be wasting my time with something that i don't want because i might you know miss out on what i've been waiting for or what i have manifested it's not it's not if it's coming it's when it's coming if you if you manifest you know manifest is you know saying this is what you see your life as in the future this is what you want you visualize the type of man you want to be with what you're going to do how y'all going to get married where y'all going to get married do all of that because you're going to start feeling that feeling which is going to attract the type of man that can do those things for you and be thankful in advance that you this man is coming to you because the more you're thankful for something, the more the universe is going to send you to be thankful for. And if you're thankful for a good man who's going to do this, this, and that, that's what the universe is going to send you. Okay? So gratitude is basically a trick. Because if you're already thanking the universe for something that you haven't received yet, it has to speed up and grain it for you so that that gratitude can be acknowledged and fulfilled. You understand? Okay. So be thankful for the man that's coming to you. Be thankful for that financially abundant, masculine man that's going to take care of you. Be thankful for that woman who's uh, nice, who's going to pamper you, who's going to uh, make you feel like a man, make you feel good. Be thankful for her because she's on the way. Don't get distracted. Distractions will take you off your course every time. And you'll be wasting your time. What if your what if your future wife or husband walks in and watches you for about five minutes, and some hoochie or some uh, ghetto person or some broke guy comes up to you and starts N -n 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 in your ear, and you entertain that? He's gonna be like, oh, she likes that kind of guy. Oh, oh well, the good ones are always going out with those type of people. So he turns around and goes to the next woman. Or what if your future wife? Is watching you talk to like you know you know I, <laughs> the type of women that you really don't want you know and they're talking about this 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 and that and it's just like oh my god look who he's talking to he's like he likes those you know he likes those type of women Ugh, I can't mess with him he probably you know got about five kids by three different by five different women so I'm not gonna mess with him no 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 so you could be missing out on the person that's supposed to be, you're, you're supposed to be with because you're entertaining things that are not on your list. Now you've already manifested it. It's coming to you. 
So you cannot put obstacles in your own way by dealing with losers and people that you don't want to associate with or you don't see yourself with in the future, okay? A lot of people are flattered too easily and they entertain things too long. If you, if this thing, if this person does not fit anything on your list, kick them to the curb quick. To the curb. Bye. Be gone. And they might think you're rude, but you know, you have to let them know, you know what? I'm holding out for my Prince Charming or my princess. You know, and a lot of people will respect that and they will leave you alone. Because if you set your standards and expectations so high that they can't even touch them, they're going to be gone automatically. So you have to hold out. You have to be patient. You have to believe in yourself that you can manifest the type of person you want. And you can't entertain the stuff that's not on your list. And that's where a lot of people mess up. They're like, well, what if they don't come? And I, I just want to have a date for tonight. And you know then you don't know what you really want because you're settling already. You know, your, your, your neediness for companionship, temporary companionship, is going to mess up what you have been manifesting because you're entertaining something that you don't want. The universe is going to get confused. He's like, wait, 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 I thought, I thought he wanted this type of woman. Why is he messing with her? Okay, well, send her back. Send the other one back. Uh, mm -mm. Okay, obviously, he don't know what he wants. Obviously, he likes this type of woman. And this is not even on the list. Well, I'm confused. Send it back. Okay? Same thing with the woman. Okay, she says she wants financially stable. Okay, okay. What? He ain't got no job? No, okay. Wait, I'm confused. She want. Okay. Send him back. She likes this guy. And it's going to slow down and until you realize your mistake and say, oh my God, I messed up. I have to get back on that frequency of manifesting my, the man that I want or visualizing the man that I want. Then it's going to start coming back slowly again. It's like, okay, are you sure? If you do it too many times, the universe is going to be like, she just playing. Y'all know she like them losers. Forget it. Don't even get up. You know, so you have to stay focused on what you want. You cannot be distracted. And this is hard for a lot of people, but it works. Okay. You just got to be fed up and you got to be like, you know what? I would rather be alone until I get the type of person I want. Okay. Just because you're alone doesn't mean you're lonely. You know, don't ever talk to someone because you feel needy at the time. You know, don't, don't entertain people. That's not on your list. They're not on your list. Mm -mm. Don't do it. Now, if, some of the things are on the list and they come up and talk to you and you're not really feeling them. Entertain them for a second. See what they're about. Because if you're the guy that you're really supposed to be with sees the type of man you like, he's going to be like, okay, we, uh, she likes guys like me. So I'm just, he, 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 he struck out. It's my turn now. I bet you I can get her, you know, only entertain people with things on your list. Okay. That is my video for today. If you have any questions, let me know. And I will answer them in the comments. Um, you know, not everyone is going to get what they want in life because they don't know what they want. You got to know what you want first. Make sure that's what you want and manifest it, write it down and stick to it. Okay, y'all?